well then our best way to start a fire in a fire pit like this is not dealing with kindling and a hatchet and all that crap really if you just want to put a little bit of boy scout juice on there like this just a little bit so then you stand back just a little bit like this okay and just kind of go go at it from here whoa That was a little bit intense. That had a little bit of uh, blowback, but that should maybe get it going. So I need to get this fire going, let it kind of burn down a little bit, get some coals going so we can put some tinfoil dinners on there. And I'm not sure if that'll go like that or not. It might. That was a pretty big uh, uh, gas explosion. Probably because there's lots of air underneath there. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna go into the front and do a little bit of mowing and or fertilizing, probably fertilizing. Today is Saturday, August 1st. Spent quite a bit of time today working on my shed. Didn't accomplish that much, but I did spend several hours working on it. See, I'm starting to get the soffit on. So you start right there with the soffit first, and then I can do the wall siding because the wall is gonna butt up into the soffit. So almost the front completely done, and this side's done. I gotta do across the back and up the side. See all these dead spots here? You can see them, they're kind of everywhere. Those dead spots right there are from MSM. Met, metal, sulfuron, met, methyl. So that's called MSM. And I sprayed it on the bluegrass. It's supposed to keep the bluegrass and kill everything else like ryegrass, fescues, stuff like that. Who we got here? Some guy with some dirt. All on a dirt with a dump trailer there. So I haven't mowed this since Thursday. You can see it, it looks pretty decent. I was gonna do a little bit of mowing right now. And maybe I'll do a couple passes before I put the fertilizer down actually. I'm thinking that my reel is set a little bit too tight because it's making a loud racket noise. So I'm just gonna loosen this up just a little bit. Two clicks. some more wood. You need lots of good coals, big, big fat bed of coals for tinfoil dinners. So I got something for you guys about Mr. Ryan Knower. So when he was at my house on July 4th, today is the 1st of August. This is the first pull. Low throttle. I'm trying to get Ryan to go on that four-wheeler and go on a four-wheeler ride, but he's like, no, I don't want to go on a four-wheeler ride, yeah. It's like, dude, you're in the mountains. Get your butt up into the mountains. We had a little, uh, fire like this we're sitting around chilling and we decided to roast some hot dogs and he's like oh cool I've never roasted a hot dog before and I'm like how old are you and he's like 35 or something like that 35 36 and he and his wife have never roast had never roasted a hot dog before so this was their first experience right here 
And I was like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. You never roasted a hot dog? Where did you grow up at? What did you do when you were a kid? Apparently not this. Well, that's kind of burning down. I'm gonna spread some fertilizer in the front really quick. I've got a triple 16 mix that I picked up from the Ace Hardware today. Uh, two 20 pound bags, way overpriced. It was like 40 bucks for not even like fifth, for 40 pounds. So a little bit disappointing in that regard, but. All right, so this is what I'm putting down today. This is a all purpose uh, triple 16 formula. Just got the nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. So lawns need potassium and the phosphorus. And a lot of these fertilizers nowadays are lacking the second and third number on the bag. That would be the uh, phosphorus and potassium. So we've got 40 pounds of fertilizer in there. This is a triple 16. I like to use this fertilizer calculator to tell me um, the amount of nitrogen and it kind of calculates it for me and it's pretty freaking sweet You tell it how many feet you've got and I'm gonna do this front section and over there where I've got the, my new seating project So this calculator is awesome. You put your Put how many square feet you've got. I've got 12,000 and I want to do about 0.5 pounds of nitrogen so 0.5 so you tell it the analysis of the bag 16 16 16 and then you hit calculate and this tells me I need 37.5 pounds of uh, my selected fertilizer if I want to put down 0.5 pound nitrogen per thousand so that's exactly what I want to do and I've got 40 pounds here and it said that I needed 37.5 so I just need to try to evenly distribute this amount of fertilizer over this given uh, square foot section oh I've got the sprinklers coming on so I do want the sprinklers to run, but not right now until I get this fertilizer spread. Stop. So I put this uh, setting on about a three and a half. I'm just gonna spread, try to spread it, spread it as evenly as I can over this given area. I'm about three days shy of three weeks seeded, and it's time to put down another application of tenacity. Uh, hopefully I can get to that in the next few days, but I want to put some triple 16 on this, uh, this uh, grass section. So it's growing decent and it's starting to grow in. So that's pretty well it for the fertilizer. Spread the, the 40 pounds over about 12,000 feet, give me about a half a pound of nitrogen. And then it gives me a half a pound of the phosphorus and a half a pound of the potassium as well. So that's pretty well it. Let's go back into the back and see how the fire's going, see if that's ready. So that sprinkler there, it gets clogged and then just stays just in this one spot. So I have to constantly get it to start rotating again. I really need to replace the nozzle. Let's go back and see if the coals are ready for the tinfoil dinners. All right, so it is getting close. Doesn't look like it's ready quite yet. I'm going to say that's close enough, and I'm going to prepare this. Oh, crap. I'm going to say that's good enough and put this, these, this food in here. That one's mine. So that's pretty well it. I'm just going to sit by here and turn these about every 10 minutes, maybe every 20 minutes. I want these to cook for about 35 minutes, probably turn them every 10 minutes or so. But I'm not liking that flame right there. I'm not liking that flame right on there. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Holy crap, that's hot. Holy freak, that's hot. Gotta go get some gloves. That is just too difficult to do that with a shovel. Saturday, August 1st, mowed, fertilized, worked on my shed, built a fire for the TFDs.
So that's gonna pretty well do it for this one. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching my videos and I will see you in the next one.